Longyearbyen is a small community of the Svalbard archipelago, located at 78 degrees north. A place out of time where day and night last a whole season. A starting point for tourists and expeditions towards the Great North. Discreet and gentle people live here. People who have learned to coexist with the uneasiness and solitude of these latitudes. A place where weather can change in unexpected ways, offering rare and precious sunny days. An unusual dimension, where man coexists with wild and unsport nature, experiencing his own limits every day. The community survives thanks to energy provided by the local power plant that burns coal, very abundant here. In fact, many old structures are visible, evidence of the historical mining activity. Coal is still used today for local needs and is exported all around the world. The energy released from the burning coal provides heat and electricity for all. Longyearbyen is the only coal-fueled community in Norway. So, Longyearbyen is a self-sufficient community that represents, on a small scale, the closed human cycle of energy. A perfect showcase, demonstrating the CO2 value chain. From the source to the solution. Well, ladies and gentlemen, after these preliminary remarks, we can now go inside the core of the story. But please, before we start, I want another big round of applause for our special <laughs> guest, Dioxy. We try to solve the problem by taking us from the source and after transport. We put it in underground. CO2, capture and store it So the gas doesn't go in the air But goes to sleep into rocks, slacks and stones Where it will stay for a long, long time You know this isn't a solution But an interesting notion to fight against climate change We have to work all together with many other players